this working? Okay, so this is my oboe video lesson. This is my lovely assistant, Claire, who is also my girlfriend, who not <laughs> only has never played the oboe, but has never played any orchestral instrument of any kind. So this should be fun, much less a double reed. So, Claire, what I want you to do first is take this, which is the reed of the oboe, and put it in this glass of water to soak with the reed down in the water. The reed is the wooden part. There you go. So, while that's getting ready, we're going to work on assembling the oboe. And while you do that, I will give you some factoids. So, the way you want to assemble an oboe is starting with the least delicate part and going to the most delicate part. So I want you to take this piece here. You're done texting. It's even scissors on our way. I'm gonna shame you in this video. Mm -hmm. So that's the bell, and bell. it's the part at the very bottom of the instrument where the sound comes out. Street. So you take that part, and then I want you to take this part here, which is the second most delicate part, which is the middle joint, and remove this cap from the end. And in it, you'll see that there's a piece of cork. Yes. So I want you to twist that cork onto the bell. Be careful. You're not going to bend any of those metal rods or anything. It shouldn't be too big of a worry, but just, you know, don't crush them. Alright. Does it have to be in any particular... So this part, with this piece of metal sticking out, mm -hmm. is going to face towards you, and you want this Yamaha logo on the bell to be facing out, away Ouch. from you. Away from me. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Mm -hmm. So then you're going to take the last part, which is the upper joint, you're going to twist off the cap from the cork on the end. Uh -huh. There you go. And what you're going to do is you're going to twist the cork on, but on this piece you have to be careful because there are two things called bridge keys which you need to watch out for, which are these pieces of metal here on the end. And you want to make sure that they are going over these two pieces of metal here. And if they aren't sliding over, then it means you're pushing down on something that should not be pushed down at the time. So it should be okay. It's okay to twist it if you want to try to get it off. There's so many bits. I know. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Alright. So, that is most of an oboe. Neat. Now, the next thing you're going to do is we're going to work on some exercises with this reed before we put it in. So I'm going to take this. When you're resting an oboe, you want to put it with the keys up. That's how you rest the instrument. Mm. So, the reed is how you produce sound. It's two different reeds cut from a single piece of cane and they shave it down with knives and stuff and they vibrate it against each other when you play through it and it makes it sound like this <laughs> which is beautiful and lovely <laughs> and used to make wonderful music Clearly. so what that was doing was called peeping the reed so you're gonna peep the reed <laughs> peep my reed <laughs> so <laughs> that weird. if you look really closely um, there is a cross stitch on this piece of cord wrapped around the reed here, that part's going to face towards you. Okay. Because these are made by hand and this side is slightly lower. So when you put it in your mouth, what you're going to do is you're going to angle it slightly down and away from you, and you're going to make a face like you imagine you're drinking a milkshake. Okay? Yeah. Like that. And you want to have a lot of it in your corners and not very much up and down pressure because you don't want to crush the reed. So put the reed in your mouth. Yep. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, you got a sound. There you go. So, <laughs> that's the first sound she has thing. ever made on a woodwind <laughs> instrument. So, do that again. I'm going to try to hone it on. Are you pushing down with your lips in the middle at all? Maybe. Okay, try it. There you go. And when you <laughs> that this is good. Because you have really great dimples, <laughs> as you know, and you want to see dimples when you're making an oboe embouchure. Embouchure is the word for how you shape your mouth when you're playing a woodwind instrument or a brass instrument. <laughs> she doesn't get to hear me do this stuff very often. <laughs> so, okay. So, you're going to make your milkshake face. And actually, because we're doing this this way, you can check for your dimples. So that's a little too much, but just like pretend like you're actually drinking a milkshake. Yeah, and put it in your mouth. Yeah, that's pretty good. And you're going to notice when you put this into the instrument, there's going to be a lot of back pressure from the instrument, which is going to mean it's going to feel like the air is not leaving your mouth, but you have to just keep pushing it through the reed anyway. Okay, so we're going to try some exercises really quick. 
to work on this. Is that you're supposed to rest with the keys up? It is, good point. <laughs> 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 and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little one bar rhythmic pattern on the read. I'm going to give it to you and you're going to do the same thing. Okay. okay. I'm going to practice making noise this way. And when you start a note on any brass or woodwind instrument for that matter, you want to just slightly touch the reed or the mouthpiece, in this case the reed, with your tongue. So you're going ta, 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 ta. There you go. That what is the same in, note? Does that matter? Increased articulation. It, it increased that can depend on a lot of things. Um, I tend to be flat a lot of the time in class because I don't take enough of the mouthpiece in my mouth, but you can put a fair amount in your mouth. And go so try putting a little more mouthpiece in your mouth. Yeah. And a lot of it's just going to come down to you. you're not experienced playing instruments and stuff like this. Yeah. So I'm going to try a different pattern. I'm just going to do this for a little bit to get you used to playing through a, a reed. Yeah. Boy, try, try putting a little more of the mouthpiece in your mouth. It's okay. There you go. You're getting sound, which is good, because you don't necessarily always get sound on the first time you try to play an instrument. So, when you put this in, because this is by far the most delicate piece of the oboe, so you put it in last, you're going to slide this cork into this hole on the top of the oboe. Just take it and make sure you have the little knot facing you. Facing me right now? Facing where okay. it's going to be facing you, so with this metal piece sticking out, and you push it in. And you're not going to break it, so don't worry too much about it, but there yeah, you go. That's good. Is that yeah. all of it that goes in? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah about that. There's, there's going to be some cork sticking out the top. So now, I want you to just try it, holding it. And how you're going to hold it is you're going to take your right thumb and you're going to hold it under this metal rest here. And then your left hand is going to go above that. And you're just going to rest it on these keys, these three circular ones, okay? And it's totally fine to check yourself visually and make sure. Yeah. Okay. So now, look at you. You're an orchestra musician. <laughs> So don't push down on anything. You can leave your fingers on these because they're not going to push down unless you actually push down on them. But put it in your mouth, the same as before. Now bring your head up straight. You don't want to go to the instrument. You want to bring it to you. And put it in your mouth like you would. And your posture is excellent, by the way. <laughs> excellent posture. I know you. So, and just try doing the same thing. Just try blowing through the reed. <laughs> okay. Now, angle, the, oh, you're still bringing your head down a little bit. <laughs> okay, try this. So what, we're gonna, what, am I, what am I going for? We're going to make sure that what's happening isn't a problem with you pushing down something that you're not doing by accident. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hold the oboe, and you're just going to blow. I'm going to honk. Okay. Yeah. So that's much better, right? So you were probably is actually... It, it, it is, because <laughs> okay. it was a stable pitch, and before you were sort of shrieking around a little bit. Right, yes. So do that one more time, just to make sure. <laughs> shrieking around a little bit is a, is a decent description uh, of my activities all the time. That's a complex musical term. Yeah, so that's right. So before, you were probably accidentally pushing down something, because all of these little metal moving bits do something. So when you're holding the oboe, you want to make sure that all you have is your thumb on here, and you want to rest it in such a way that you're not, like, pushing weight onto okay. any of these keys when you're supporting it. Okay. So try it. Under my just, thumb. Mm-hmm. Under my thumb. But you don't have to be overly delicate. And you want, you don't want your fingers way high up. Yeah, it's a much better pitch. Yeah. But you don't want your fingers way high up like this, because what's going to happen I is, if I was teaching you to be a oboe player, and you learn to play like that, eventually you'd be playing fast passages, and you would be bringing your fingers way up, and you wouldn't be able to find the keys when you brought them back down. Mm. So, <laughs> do this, and take the, and just try to play a long note on the open, no keys down, for four beats. I'm going to catch you in a row. One, two, ready, go. Stop. Good. <laughs> Are we having fun yet? So much fun. <laughs> Oboe fun. Try to do uh, four quarter notes. One, two, ready, go. 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> Try to do uh, eight quarter notes. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. <laughs> this is fun. Uh, All right. Susan is here. She's here? Yeah, she's here. Okay, well, we only have a few more minutes. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to briefly teach you how to play a few notes so that you can play hot cross buns, <laughs> which is the perennial teaching standard of all instruments as far as I have learned in my many methods classes. So I'm going to double check myself. I may be doing something wrong. There we go. Okay, so I was just I just had the mouthpiece in my mouth a little weird. So you're gonna do everything you did before, but you're gonna start with this finger down. When whenever you go down, you leave the previous fingers down. So Wow, that is You're doing terrible. a lot of things where you're changing your body, and all you want to do is change your fingers. So okay. instead of sort of hunching into it, you just want to leave it here, and you're going to go... So, there you go. Actually, I'm sorry, let me do it. check the notes. I'm not sure if I'm doing this wrong because of notes, or if... There's a fundamental oboe mistake yeah. happening. <laughs> hey, don't say that. I'm trying to make a good impression. Fundamental oboe innovation. Yeah. It might just be the tone. That note is wrong. I don't know how to cross the button. Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. <laughs> we might have to leave that there for today <laughs> and go on with our lives. But, um, anyway, you know now how to produce a sound on the oboe, and you know how to correctly assemble and care for it. So, when you're taking it apart, you want to go in reverse order. So, from most delicate to least delicate, and the most delicate part is the reed. And you just pull it out and and there is a small plastic reed case up on the piano. You can grab that. And you want to rest the wooden reed part on the foam there so it absorbs the moisture. Does it not need to be dried? No, it's fine like that. And then you want to twist this part off carefully. There's so many bits. Mm -hmm. Damn it. There you go. And you put the cork cap back on. And... And then this part you twist off, place the cap back on the cord to protect that, put it in the case, and then the bell goes in last, you suck it, and you go there. <laughs> so, not everything always goes according to plan, but Claire has taken her first bold step into the world of orchestral woodwind playing. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. <laughs> Thank you, Paul.